Welcome to the Next Up YouTube. In today's video, I'm actually going to follow up on a request that I had in the comment section. So, a couple of people were asking how to set the ringtone. Like, let's say if you want to set a personal uh, contact to a certain ringtone. In other words, let's say if you got a, a spouse or a friend or whatever that you want them to, when that ringtone come up, you know it's them. So we're gonna walk you through that. And I'm also gonna walk you through because another comment had the question of, when you turn the volume down, how can I just turn it down for a certain thing? Because a lot of times when you hit volume down, it turns everything down and they want that to be separate. So we're gonna go over that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through the, how to set a certain ringtone. Now, this is a follow-up from a previous video that I made where I went over how to set a personal ringtone separate from or different from the factory. Now, just to do a recap, I'm actually gonna walk through that again. So this song I downloaded when I purchased this album. And so I'm gonna use this as my personal ringtone. So the first thing I'm gonna do, because I've already downloaded the MP3, I'm gonna go ahead, or I've already you know, uploaded the MPV, MPV to uh, my Google Music file, I'm gonna go ahead and download it. And the reason why I'm walking through this because this is gonna be the way you're gonna have to go about getting your sound. So you're gonna find a way to get your sound and you're gonna need to download it. So let me go ahead and hit download. So I'm gonna go ahead and download it. And we'll, we'll wait for it to download. Now, once it has downloaded, I can then go into settings. And a good way to do that, and it shows right here that it downloaded. So there's a scroll down, settings, and I'm gonna go into sounds, vibration. Then I can go into ringtone, and right here will be, if I wanna make that ringtone my new ringtone. So let me go to my sounds, and I'ma hit add, and let me go back, I'm not sure if it, that ad, it didn't. So let me go ahead and bring this a little closer because I don't think it showed up on the camera. Uh, but there's an ad icon here. Once I hit add, it'll bring my downloaded content up right here. So, now let's just say you wanna make a certain ringtone uh, set to that. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and, and open up my favorite. Here, here's a phone number for a contact that I want to make a personal ringtone for. So I'm going to hit the settings icon, which is the three dots. And you're going to see one, two, three, four, four down, uh, set ringtone. Click on set ringtone. And then it's going to allow me or it's going to send me to my sounds. Again, so I'm going to click on my sounds. I'm going to hit add. And I'm going to click the downloaded one. And there it is right here, timepiece. So hit that, and I'm gonna hit save. Now, anytime I get a call from that number, it's gonna be that song. Now, it don't have to be a song, it can be whatever you want. Like I said, I actually have some sound of, you know, some airplane sound like uh, APUs and engines and stuff like that. I can set those sounds to be whenever they call. All right, so that answers that. Now, to the second question that uh, someone asked, uh, how do I adjust the sound, you know, to bring up more options? So what you would do is for me, the volume down is the second one. Click on the volume down, you're gonna see the three dots. Click on the three dots and it's gonna bring you up a menu. And from there, you can adjust, you know, each individual sound. And if you go to see more, it'll give you options. So if you want to turn on like different adapter sound, you want to adjust ringtones and so on. Now, just as to go back a little bit, when I adjusted my ringtone, making that um, contact the ringtone I wanted, notice it still kept my original ringtone. It didn't change the original ringtone. It just changed the ringtone 
just for that individual. So I just wanted to show you that, just so you see that even though you you change that ringtone just for that one person, it may not necessarily change it for you know the phone in general. So keep that in mind. Now, if you just want to change your phone ringtone in general, this is where you click on this one, and you can change where every call that comes through will be that particular ringtone. If you want to add a custom notification tone, now I just did a custom ringtone. What I mean by a notification, you know, someone sends you a text message and you want that person to have a certain sound. Now I'm gonna walk you through that part now. So if you click on the three dots, now you're gonna have to go into the text message, you know, the person. You click the three dots, it's gonna bring up a number of options. Click on details, which is at the top. And then you're gonna see the person right there. Now this also works for groups. So if you were doing a group chat, you're gonna make the group chat where you get the uh, certain notification sound for that group chat. But you click on notifications, it's gonna give you a number of options. From here, you can change where, let's just say uh, if you get a notification from that person, a good example of that would be, let's just say if you have this as a, a spouse or a child, you want whenever that person's text message come through, you want that to come through immediately. You want that to make that a priority. You can change that to a priority. If you want to silence it, I guess another example would be if you get a text message from your boss and you're like, man, at certain times of the night, I really don't want to be disturbed. You can set that to silent to where, you know, they can text you, but you won't be disturbed. Now, you can also go down here and you can change whether you want to make this a, a bubble this conversation where you can have that conversation pop out and be a bubble on the side where you can click on it any time and continue on with that. Uh, you can do a pop on the screen. You could change how it shows, you know, on a lock screen. For example, if you, again, if you want a certain notification to show the information regardless of whether it's on your lock screen. Like for example, a lot of my notifications on my last screen, I have it set to where it hides sensitive information. But there's sometimes you may want certain texts that when it come through, you want to see everything. You can change that right here. Now, uh, and also you can click remove from the conversation section if you consider it not a conversation. But here is where, again, you want to make a certain sound for that. You can do that, so click on sound. And then it brings you to my sounds. And this is where you can add a custom sound there. Now, it'd be the same way like you did for the ringtone. Find a sound you want, download that uh, download that sound. And then now that you have it there, you can add it to my sound by hitting the add, download, which I'm not gonna have that. And scroll down where you find that notification and boom, done. So just for giggles, I'm gonna go ahead and make it that. Save it, done. So now anytime a message come from this person, I get that sound. Again, you know, this is how you would make that adjustment from there. Hopefully this helps you out. So consider this like a bonus clip, if you want to say that. Now, I am not getting paid for this. It's not a paid promotion. <laughs> you know, this is one of those things where you know, you ever went through Walmart or Target or someplace like that, you see a gadget and you're like, should I spend the money for this? Is it worth it? And in this video, I'm going to talk about one of the things I saw at Walmart. Now, <laughs> this time of year, if you go to Walmart right now, you're going to see a bunch of gadgets out there, a bunch of stuff. It's, it's holiday season. They're trying to get you to pick stuff up. So I saw this handheld vacuum cleaner. Now, how many times, you know, we are, you know, going to the car wash to hit the vacuum, you know, clean up there, spend a dollar or two, whatever, here and there, just to vacuum stuff up. And I'm like, man, it'd be nice to have like a small handheld vacuum. Now, yes, a lot of these vacuum cleaners now that you have at the house, they're big enough where you can drag it out there and it got attachments where you can use it to vacuum out your car. But man, there are just times you just want to do a quick little, you know, clean up real quick just to get up the dirt and the lint in your car. And you really don't want to have to go and go drag out some special vacuum cleaner and have to plug it up into a nearby wall. Just do that. So the question is, was it worth it? Now, 
This here was 50 bucks at Walmart. And I was curious, you know, is it worth me spending my money on this? So out of the box, you get the vacuum cleaner. And again, this is a wise vacuum cleaner. And with it comes um, a USB cord, which comes in handy because that mean in my car, I can use the same charger I'm using for my phone to charge up the vacuum cleaner. It has a couple of attachments here, you know, as you see right here. But mainly, you know, for something like this, the main thing is to use it just to clean stuff up. And I'm gonna post a video where I used it earlier. And you know, I just, nice little new car and thanks to my brother and I'm gonna shout him out. Not, you know, I'm trying to promote him, but you know, trying to give love to little bro out there in Byerly and uh, Louisville, Kentucky out there. So you have to be in the Northern Kentucky area, uh, particularly Louisville, you're looking for a car. Check out my brother out there, uh, Donnie, and ask him or uh, tell him the next up sent you. But yeah, check this out, man. Like with this right here, as you will see in the video, it it does what I wanted to do. Just clean up a little bit of dirt right there. Um, matter of fact, when I was using, it, I was expecting when I go back and through there, uh, the battery won't last that long. But it actually is decent. Again, now I wouldn't use this if, let's say, for example, you know. You, your car is pretty much need a total vacuum, a total work, uh, a full vacuum detail. This is something I wouldn't use that for. This is more just to keep your car fresh. You know, uh, you got a little bit of dirt here and there. You just want to vacuum up or you drop something, you know, you want to keep your car clean. This is for me where this is ideal for. And like I say again, you can keep it in your car. You can use the same charger that you use your phone. So you're going to bring out a, a special adapter and you know it's ready to go so yeah if you just happen to be a walmart you see this or you're like man you know what can i get someone uh, uh that can be useful for them this may not be a bad gift to, to pick up for them and just say look you know um may come in handy it comes in also um in a box it comes with a little um plastic case and you know you can that's basically what i do i throw everything in there uh, outside of the charger again i use the same charger that I use for my phone, but yeah, just put this in there. Uh, maybe keep it in the trunk somewhere, or you know, right underneath the back seat somewhere. And yeah, you just happen to you know, get in your car, or you know, it's man, there's a little bit of dirt here and there. I want to keep it fresh. Let me do a quick vacuum. This will just come in handy, and I think that'll work. And like I said again, I'm not saying it won't work if you just happen to have like you know, uh, kids and you want to vacuum it up, but this is not meant, and it'll actually tell you. In the instructions, this is meant to just do a little light cleaning. In fact, if you look at the um, the containers, not a lot of room in there. So again, if if your car just you know loaded with cereal and all kinds of other stuff, in other words, you gotta do a big job. I wouldn't use this. Uh, this is again, this is for little job. This is like the I would call it maintenance. You know, in between, in between going to the car wash, just to keep your stuff you know tight and ready to go. So. Yeah, man, uh, if you just happen to, or yeah, if you just happen to go to Walmart and you just see this, you're thinking, is it worth my money? Well, if it fits for you, that you're someone who just wants something to, to keep your car, you know, kind of fresh and, you know, you don't have to worry about um, a bunch of cereal uh, all over the place or anything, or mud or dirt and all that stuff all over the place, then yeah, this is for you. This is, this is I would say, it, it, it's for the, I call it a Sunday or a luxury car, but the car that you know is is mainly meant it's not going to be meant for work it's not going to have all the mud or dirt this is mainly like man this is you know the in and out professional car you just want to keep things kind of tidy in between so anyway um if anyone picked one of these up or been using one i kind of curious your thoughts on it uh, your long-term use again i just picked it up a couple of days ago so i haven't really you know used it for like a long period of time so i cannot speak to the longevity of it um you know I cannot speak to how this do with vacuum up water because, again, I'm not using it for something like that. So, but maybe someone else who have used it can leave a comment below to speak to that. But anyway, that's just my quick review of this product. You know, the holidays are here. If you happen to see it in Walmart, hopefully this helps you out. Anyway, that's all I got. I think I said anyway enough here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. This is the next up YouTube. I'm out.